Hello and welcome along. When Farming Simulator 19 launched, many people had issues with their force feedback Logitech steering wheels. Um, and this was something that was corrected in patch 1.1.3. However, many people like myself have still be having issues with their wheels. Having It's having gone from having 100% resistance when the game launched to being uh, completely freewheeling and with no resistance at all after the 1.1.3 patch. So what this video is going to cover today is something that uh, Rainbow Dave mentioned in his live stream on Friday evening. And that is that uh, you can set this in the profiler. In fact, in the patch notes for 1.1.3, it does say that these force feedback wheels are now controllable in the profiler. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to set that up and how to get it so that your wheel is working properly in Farming Simulator 19. Now, I have a G29, so uh, the piece of software I have is the Logitech Gaming Software. If you have a G25 or G27, you want the Logitech Profiler. Uh, this uh, this piece of software I've got is for the G29 and the G920. So the G29 and G920 can be done this way. The actual thing you have to do is the same in both programs, although I think it it probably looks different in uh, in the Logitech profiler. So we want to go into our wheel settings here. Uh, we have uh, the steering wheel uh, setting here, which is the one we want to bring up. As you can see, I do have several profiles here. I did set up a Farming Simulator 19 one. However, I was having trouble getting that to activate in-game. So I've actually made this change on the default profile. So you go into the steering wheel settings and here, as you see, I've got ticked. You have the enable centering spring in a force feedback games. Now, this is the tick box that you need to have ticked in order for the resistance of your wheel to be active in Farming Simulator 19. You can then set your centering spring strength uh, just below that. I have mine set to 10%. And once you've done that, that is it. That is all you have to do to get your wheel working with the correct resistance that you want in the game. Tick that box, set your centering spring strength to what you want it to be, and click OK. And hey presto, there you go. So, all that remains is for me to say that I hope you have found this video helpful. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.